In Syria, it's a lost generation. In Africa, it's a lost gender. Imagine a world where girls are the most prominent targets of today's terrorists. The nightmare only seems to get darker and more terrifying, especially since almost 300 girls have been abducted in Nigeria, even threatened with being sold at a slave market, all to keep them and others from going to school. It's a tragic tale that's been recurring for years. Back in 1997, I saw firsthand the horror when I visited a school in Uganda where the teacher, Sister Raquel, showed me where 139 girls were abducted in the dark of night by Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance Army. Now, Malala Yousafzai, the courageous Pakistani teenager, has raised her voice and her tweets on behalf of those missing girls in Nigeria. I spoke to her from Birmingham, here in England, her adopted home and where she goes to school. I asked this remarkable young woman how she and others find the courage to speak up and fight back. Why do you think girls are targeted, girls who seek education, who want to be able to read and write and make something of their lives? Why are they such targets, such as yourself, such as these girls in Nigeria? When I was in SWAT, I also felt, uh, I also suffered through terrorism. And at that time, uh, more than 400 schools were destroyed and we could not go to school. And education was banned at that time. And I realized that there are some terrorists who are misusing the name of Islam. And they are actually afraid of the power of women. They don't want women to get empowered, to get education. And they do not want women to achieve their goals. So I think these terrorists are afraid of women. And that's why they are, they are kidnapping women. So, in my opinion, the international community needs to stand up because if we remain silent, then this will spread and this will happen more and more. Mm -hmm. And there is so much fear in these societies. In Pakistan, people are still afraid to talk up. You did, you did, but you got criticized for it. Let's face it, Malala, you got criticized for it. And also in Nigeria, they are speaking up, but many of the parents are in disguise. They don't want to show their faces. They are trying not to be recognized. Where do you get the courage to speak out? I think that we should always speak the truth. And uh, my father has always taught me that you should believe in yourself and you should continue your campaign and you should always tell the truth to people and you should give the message of peace. And this is what I believe in. And I think that Everyone has to die one day. So if we die a bit early, it does not matter, but we should speak up for our, for our rights. And when we were suffering from terrorism in Swat, if we have remained silent at that time, we would have faced that terrorism forever. But the better way was to speak up and to speak for our rights and then die. So I chose the second one because I thought that if we remain silent, then we have to live in such a brutal society where every day people are slaughtered, education is banned, schools are blasted. So the best way that we want to protect ourselves is that we speak up and we speak up for our rights. And in my opinion, uh, we should speak up for the girls in Nigeria as well.